This video is sequel to my previous video about my notepad program that I wrote in Python. And the reason, originally I wasn't going to work on it anymore, but I uh, had an itch to scratch a little bit, wanted to make it a little better than it was, added a few more features, and I just wanted to show them off. Uh, so, without further ado, so the one thing I got rid of was the was the margins. So as you can see, the red cursor is right on the edge, and the text is flush to the top. No real reason. It just seemed unnecessary to have margins. Another thing I got rid of, or I added, I improved the camera. So I'll just so Python is a great language to learn. High game is fun. Also, you should try it. And as you can see, before what happened was the cursor would move to the right past the the camera point, whatever you want to call it, and then you could see it jump back. Now it only draws it when it's before the camera line. So what happens in the program is that once it gets past, it knows not to draw it there, and then just draws it when it's back to the normal spot. So as you can see, it's not jumping back and forth like it had before. And that works with the Y camera as well. Uh, another feature I added was the ability to click wherever you want to go to that point. So as you can see, the cursor went in front of the G. Again, not, not nothing too special, but it was fun to try. So it works just like you'd expect. Uh, and the final feature is the ability to save and delete files. Save, save and load files into the program. So why don't I just quit this so I don't have to wait, waste the time deleting it. Okay. Okay. So why don't, to make it more fun, I'll make a Python program in my notepad and then run it outside the program. So I just do print hello, oops, hello world. So that's my program. Now to save, I don't have a menu or anything. I just hit escape and that brings that window up and then to save I hit S. Now we just have to type in the directory. Obviously not the most practical uh, ways of doing it for like an ordinary user. Most people don't think about directories or anything, but whatever. Python program.txt. Bam. All right, so now let's load up the terminal. So where are we? So cd desktop. I'll just do python, python program.txt. Hello world. And there you go. So it worked, and as you can see, it's on the desktop as well. Uh, and obviously, I can delete it. And then let's open it up, and then I just do the exact same thing. Oops. Users, Justin Armstrong, desktop. Python programs.txt. Bam. Ooh. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I typed it in wrong. Obviously, it's not fully fleshed out yet. Obviously, I should have something that prevents someone from opening a file that doesn't exist. Oops. Um. <laughs> so let's try this again. Python program.txt. Just press enter, and there it is. So I think that's all the features. Uh, oh, and the final thing is you can resize the window. Now, what's interesting about the resize is that every time you resize it, you see that black flicker? That's because Pygame is a wrapper around SDL. And the way SDL works is that it, when it makes the window, the window itself is black, and then it has to draw the surface object that makes the white background. And there's no way around that. SDL doesn't have the capability of uh, uh, real-time resizing, so that's the best I can do. Uh, it's the same thing when it opens up and makes that flicker, but Pygame wasn't really designed for applications that aren't games, but this is more of an experiment to see what I can do with Pygame. 
and not an actual notepad program that anyone would want to use. Yeah, so that's my that's my notepad program part two. And I hope you like it.